What's going on my dudes one step here and welcome back to multiverses big shout out to WB games and player first games for giving me this early access to this footage where we can see the whole menu UI for the game and all the tabs it has like home fighters battle pass events mission store and career and what these menus actually entail now the first time I went through this I was like that's cool that's cool that's cool but, but I actually missed a few small details that I think are really they really matter so today we're going through these small details and these small changes that are coming to multiverses and some of them might really surprise you because they definitely surprise me subscribe here for more multiverses and fighting game content and let's get into this so this one right here this is just the uh, the home screen and this is very reminiscent of maybe some battle royales you might have played before where the character there is staying on the platform you have your duo next to you i'm assuming if you get like a full party like you do a free for all maybe that the all four might show i'm not quite sure what character shows up on the screen is it the last one you use your most played character or whatever but on this home screen you see here we have the missions preview so that we have a good preview of all the missions you need to complete as most battle passes do have and and most most home screens like this do also have and some of the missions are just you know pretty simple like complete three matches with a guest fighter i'm assuming that means like uh couch co-op like you have a guest log in for two days and play three rift nodes and then right there's an easy button to just enter the rifts and go play those nodes change fighter change their costume game mode 1v1 and play so just from the home screen you can just change the game mode boom pop into a match no problem on the right hand side we got the free premium pass and then these are the missions as well the operator we've got an agent and welcome back daily login you can see the currencies in the top right here and then these are the fighters where you have the fighters themselves and then the account cosmetics you can change their skins and whatnot but the detail that i miss and the one that i think actually matters a ton is as they're going through the characters from this menu it shows the character their level their class where they're from and a couple other fun notes like for batman right here we see he's a bruiser from dc caped human detective heroic we've always known he's a bruiser but there's a couple changes here that that might surprise you everyone's relatively the same you know finn is an assassin bugs bunny is our mage Garnet it's also a bruiser for those that don't know one of the newest characters jason Voorhees, is going to be a tank <laughs> it says human sports attire because the hockey mask and villainous and we're definitely going to have more villains i mean this is season one the season of villains so i'm excited to see what other villainous characters they bring to multiverses this is the beginning of the big notes that i saw so gizmo here is for those that played the beta and the alpha and whatnot gizmo was a support character and it seems so far they've gotten rid of the support class because gizmo here is actually a mage now so all we've seen so far is bruiser assassin tank and made and the reason why i think they did that is because every character has some form of support the game is made for 2v2 and there's a lot of characters that have even just small things that help out a duo like like even for example for batman when you throw down the smoke bomb that helps you and your duo partner so is that technically support i guess kind of so they kind of just got rid of the whole support class it seems which isn't necessarily a bad idea but i wish they had like a slash support because there are characters like gizmo like rain dog that have more support utility than other characters have and that might be better in duos because of how much they support you know what i'm saying so that's the big one right here gizmo is now a mage one that i thought was weird they didn't change was morty is still a bruiser because the way that morty plays he should definitely be a mage in my opinion he's got the grenades the earth bending spike thing the shielded teleport the call on the ufo the, the, the life link move he's got so many things that that aren't really bruiser to my opinion now of course these are all subject to change so if morty ever does become a mage uh your boy here called it the insane thing rain dog was a really big big support character now he's just a mage and one that really threw me for a loop is uh steven universe is not only no longer a support character but now he's not just a mage he's a tank mage so characters can't have two classes and they completely change steven's class twice so tank mage very interesting i wonder i want to know how this like four foot three kid is gonna be a tank when iron giant is also a tank that's gotta mean they just have more health or they're heavier or they hit harder something like like that because as of right now size does not matter at least i've heard it doesn't got him velma's also a mage coming from support as well so it seems most of the support characters became part of the mage class for those that did not know joker is also a mage and banana guard is a bruiser and i've heard banana guard is actually kind of insane can't wait to try him out i'm not gonna lie so with all of that the class is changing and everything not only that you can see here on wonder woman bugs bunny and finn they had that like stopwatch icon on them so those are gonna be the like limited time characters for free that you can try out and it seems they're gonna cycle out those characters so if you have unlocked bugs bunny in this instant you could try him out he's free to play and those three free to play characters are gonna cycle out like they did in the beta but then of course once you unlock bugs bunny you can play him whenever you want we have the character class changes we have the free to play stopwatch icons on the characters and every character now has a difficulty and some of them might have changed from the beta like stripe here is a medium difficulty character where steven universe is a hard to play character and characters like shaggy are just recommended so they're easy or easy to pick up at least right 
right? There were characters like Steven Universe from the beta that were actually considered expert characters. And I guess they changed that verbiage to just hard characters. So, so far we got recommended, which is, I guess is easy, medium and hard. Again, just hard to like pick up, hard to understand. There's a lot more going on with the character than some other characters. That's why they're hard. Now going on to the battle pass here, this is the season one battle pass preview they showed in this footage. And, and a couple things caught my eye here. First and foremost, yeah, we got a sick new LeBron James skin. LeBron being a Spartan man, honestly, kind of dig it. I'm not sure how he's gonna dunk on you with those sandals on, but we'll see. And season one here is 246 days long. I'm sorry, what? I'm not really sure if that's, if that, is that accurate? There's no way, right? Because 246 days is around eight months long. You want me to work on a battle pass for eight months? There's no way, That there's no way that's real. I, I feel like a season is gonna be like, what? Two, two and a half max. On the next page here, we have a new skin showing off for Stripe as well, looking awesome. On the battle pass, you can see we got the free tiers, like the Stripe skin here, the icons, the, some of the badges it looks like. Then of course, the ones that are not free are gonna be part of the premium battle pass. See, same thing here, we're getting currencies. We got fighter currency, we got perk currency, we got badges, icons, ring out effects, more currencies, gleanium currency, and even a Jason skin right here, the Matrix Jason. Also side note, yes, we can earn gleanium in the battle pass. Back in the beta, you could not so this is really cool to see that we can spend Gleamium on our battle pass and earn it back by completing the battle pass, thus giving us the next one for, you know, essentially free. We got profile icons like this one here. We got more skins for Rain Dog, badges, emotes, icons again, currencies, a sneak peek skin for Velma there. Yeah, I mean, this battle pass is looking stacked. Jake skin there, ring out effects, badges, icons, currencies. This battle pass is gonna be so much fun to do. And as of right now, we're not quite sure if this is the end, like a 60, like a 60 tier of the the highest tier you can go or can you go above that is it 100 tiers is it just a 60 i mean if it's eight months long you better give me like 200 tiers bro and then for a very brief moment like five frames i had to slow this down and pause it for you it goes from battle pass to missions and they step on events for just a second here we have the joker's ruse for events we got welcome back daily login the age of smith and power pledge drive some of these are open for quite a while you can see there the age of smith is open till july 18th and a lot of these you're gonna unlock skins like the wonder woman cosmetic cure superman skin there the the main Matrix Iron Giant skin in the Age of Smith. Love to see that. And then, of course, Gleamium for the Power Pledge Drive. So if you don't want to go online and you just want to do events, go here, run the events, have fun with it. Then go through and you have your missions here, training, daily missions, weekly missions, and then those events as well for the Joker's Ruse and the Age of Smith. These missions are going to feel very at home. You've probably seen these before in other games like this. Those that have battle passes and such, like right here, you know, log in for two more days, log in for three days, just daily login stuff. Then you got actual daily missions like win PvP games, ring out a opponents play 1v1 pvp game so just keep playing the game obviously weekly missions play as a tank hit a fully charged attack with jason making you want to try other characters to complete these missions to then get rewards in this footage we did not get a showcase at the store or career i'm assuming the career is of course going to show you your most played character how many hours you got logged in what rank you might be stuff like that that's pretty typical for showing a career tab and then the store is just going to be a store where you can buy cosmetics probably icons badges emotes stuff like that if you're on the home screen right here and you want to enter the rifts here's what it looks like so we have you know one two three four rifts obviously three and four are coming soon but right now we got chaos and digital horror rift detectives and multiversal mayhem where you can then go through the rift and say do you want to go on easy experience and then yeah these are the nodes you have stars to complete them you know two stars three stars five stars different rewards for completing different nodes and how you get all five stars we see right here win the match ring out an opponent free your ally from a respawn bubble win the match with a dc character and bring another player with you into battle so if you want to get all the stars per node, this is how it's going to work here. You could add mutators here as well, or mutators might show up there. And then this is where you can equip gems that will apply certain perks in the game. Like you can see right here, the first gem has a 25% chance your enemy's projectiles are tiny, plus 50% on defense. The second gem is a 3% chance to deal 50% damage and 50% plus on attack. So these gems will actually help you on your way to complete these nodes in Rifts mode. As you win a game in Rifts mode, here's how it looks. You get the experience there, it locks the box for you, and you can get a reward here like in this case it was a new gem for us and the gem gives us 25 percent chance for giant projectile the more you play the more gems you get you can actually upgrade those gems as well as you get more gem tokens make that gem benefit be even better you got your typical match summary what you did in that match what you get for
for that match. This is gonna be a grind, but it looks like a ton of fun to get that grind down. Again, massive shout out to WB Games and Player First Games for this early access content. This is awesome. And I love seeing the new modes, the new menu UI, all the small changes they made to the game and the big ones, of course, too. With that being said, my dudes, let me know down below, what are you most excited for when it comes to Multiverse's relaunching here soon? Are you more excited for the characters, the perks, changes they've made to the game? Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more Multiverse's and fighting game content. Take it once a minute of time and go ahead and click into these videos right here for more Multiverse's.